Oh, hello, cat doodles and boogie pies. <laughs> uh, man, I is never gonna get old. So, um, f it. Let's let's just get on with the more intervention what quest. Now? Cause I got at least one more in me. So will you touch? Dictated by the armor gems. Okay, uh, shut up, lady. I got armor gems. Duo of three. That was a good side quest. Uh, okay. Riku, everybody. Everyone want to see the Riku doing the thing? Getting a question mark prize? Rain and lawn. They sure were a fun pair to have around. Oh, could you bear a little more to the right, please? So, Riku, was it? Where might you be headed this fine day? <laughs> Do you really need to ask? Treasure Island! Ah. So the low seas have managed to keep a few secrets from me. It's full of treasure chests. Now that's what I call a paradise. The currents are so strong, I never could have made the trip all by my lonesome. It sure is a good thing I found you, Addy boy. You'd risk your life to reach this place? I wonder if treasure hunting is as fun as you say. It sure is. All those little treasures have been around way longer than I have. I'll be the first person to touch them in years upon years. Ooh, I can just squeal. Hmm, I see now. I had that same spark ages ago. How oh, I miss it. Yeah? Well, why don't you come along on this treasure hunt with me? I would, but I cannot survive outside the low seas. I envy you. Living life as you please. Now that is a true treasure. Hmm. If you say so. Oh! There's the island! I see it! Look at all these treasure chests! Hey, Addy! Thanks so much for the ride! No trouble at all. How will you get home? Look at all this stuff lying around here! There's gotta be some relic that'll help me! Oh, hey! Why don't you take something with you? I don't know what's in that chest there, but it's sure gonna be something good! Riku, I will help you. You do that? You're so sweet. Now, get that chest! These things really make you think twice about opening treasure chests. Yeah, I never the like jack-in-the-boxes. Yes, it stinks, but the only way to know what we'll find is to jump right in. Thanks for making it sound like we're dumpster diving. Very uplifting. I gotta be honest, this, this quest is too close to home. Uh, mainly for the fact that, you know, Gildum, Gildum is an old person. In internet terms, Gildum is, a, is basically of the grandparent age, just ancient. Uh, but, you know, I digress. Point is, um, this, this hits home because, like, I had some co-workers. They're pretty young in the sense that, like, you know, they don't know any better, but I've been at my job for, like, not quite ten years, but by the time you see this, probably over ten years, but I digress. You know, not the point. Point is, God, it's like that when I see it. You know, I'm Animantis. I'm Animantis and my co-workers are Riku. I miss that spark! I used to have so much life! Phew... That freaked me out! Your job's full of surprises. <laughs> well, sometimes... Yeah. Despite the danger, you still mean to continue with it? Of course! It's in my blood! I live for treasure hunting! All my treasures need me! I can't stop now! <laughs> I see. Then I wish you a safe and fruitful journey. Mm. Thanks again, Addy. I'll see you real soon. Hunting treasure, eh? She did seem to be having fun. 
Perhaps my kin have been missing out. Perhaps it's time for an adventure of their own. I wonder... Would those Mirage Keepers help us? Oh man, that, that retrospect. There, I got more meaning than I need to from that side quest, but give me the Hello. remarkable treasure right I now. can get from it. Man, I'm There's having so a life crisis, and none of you will understand, but that's fine, because none of you need to understand. Point is, I got an Animantis memo, and, um... Great, I got two more side quests right I can't do. One of which I can't do until basically I beat the game, but the other one, man, it, it, it's like unfair. Grand, yeah, I get it. If I didn't get like the snow metal, I could probably do that. But the problem with that is I'd have to have snow and like show them off at some point. And that's clearly not what I wanted to do. Uh, no one should really have to have that like fate also you know what i don't know i shouldn't do this uh but before i get into it let, let's go talk to seraphy let's let's get that thing on her head here help yourselves zapril hey that's that's pretty cool i know i shouldn't do this but let's go to the twins room I mean, I'm I'm not trying to hold up process or progress, the process of progress, but I'm gonna do that anyways. Mind if I take a little breather? Yeah, you can take a little breather. It all depends who you're controlling. See, like if I control Lon, then all of a sudden. Why don't we rest a bit? I can talk to Rain. Likewise, we can talk to the other person. Also, we got Kate Sith. We got Cactuar, Chocobo. Um. Moogle, a really cool Moogle. Kind of reminds me of Boshi from uh, Mario RPG, but I digress. That's not really the important thing. We got the Mirage Manual. It's the thing I was trying to say the other part, with, which I end up making more sexual than I need to. But point is, you can kind of look at all the Mirages. You get a little bit of a description. Uh, why, don't we, why don't we look at Gildum, you know, uh, the Chrome Giant version of Gildum. Uh, yeah, you see, you get a little bit of a description, you get the stats, it's, it's kind of cool, you know, you get an idea of what you get if you win the battle with them. And I mean, like, more than that, more than that, you also kind of get, like, a little bit of details on, like, mirages you don't know. I should probably show that off, but I digress. Um... You know, Flan Princess, we don't know too much about her, but we still get the description. We still get a little bit of things. So that's kind of cool. So basically, this fills out as you make progress with it. But it goes beyond just like that. I mean, you kind of get the idea. There's a lot to do with this. I'm going to show it off like when we actually beat the game and like maybe progress a little bit further because there's New Game Plus. But here's what I was really getting to. Like, we get more than just your standard, hey, like, these are mirages. These are mirages. These aren't mirages. These are giants. These are Bahamushin commander soldiers. Uh, basically, units of the Bahamushin Federation army or what have you. I don't really know. Point is, uh, I, I showed it off. You guys can see it. I'm going to make a very controversious call by actually going to the park and actually continuing with the plot. Because, I mean, I'm tired of all these intervention quests and all these things, you know. We didn't really make a whole lot of progress. We didn't really do a whole lot. Oh my god, I gotta do the Coliseum. Um, Grant, there's nothing... I can gain from doing the Coliseum, but I gotta do the Coliseum. Um, you know, later, later. Point is, we don't need that. I'm, I'm gonna show off the cutscene with the, uh, with the, with the new part, the new thing coming up. Cause I know you, I know it's coming up, and I know you want to see it. And also, I should be joyriding, cause that's a lot quicker. Cause why the fuck would I ever travel on foot? Joyride is the hip thing to do. It's the quicker method of traveling. It cuts time by half. Also, why are you doing all the way here? 
Always go in prepared. Great advice. Life changing. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna rethink my life. I'm gonna redo things. I got a cutscene. I gotta shut up. Despite the harsh desert climate, mirages here are full of life. When did we step into a documentary? Uh a docu what? You tell me the thing. If you ever get lost in the desert, just follow the light. Think of it as a traveler's tradition. Also, I should mention we got the chill jazz tunes of this uh, unknown track, which I think is something that is not from a Final Fantasy game. Look! A bomb motion, the soldier! But why here? Plot! That's why he's here! Uh, so this is something unexpected, and also go fuck yourself, Ahamushin, whatever. Uh, I can can. Oh my god! I gotta turn off the repeat, cause I just realized. You know what this battle is? Of course you do. This is me capturing a bomb. You know what I didn't think I was gonna be doing? Capturing a bobino. Uh, I gotta inflict confusion. Oh. <laughs> oh, great. Um, okay, items, let's take a look. No, no, no. Loco weed, of course. That That is a thing that's in the Final Fantasy thing. That is something I expect whenever I play the Final Fantasy. You got the, you got the Loco weed. It does what you expect it to do. Man, I... You know, I didn't foreshadow this, but I, oddly enough, did. Um, I get to name a bomb and actually use it on my team. I don't know how I feel about that, because bombs are kind of garbage, well, but at the so same I'm time, not. I mean, uh, at least I got an electrode. I just think I, I, I think I figured out the name if I'm going to use a bomb. Uh, okay, you know what, uh, you know, maybe I won't, I, I gotta name him. Give me a second, everybody. You know, it comes to mind that social commentary is probably the best route to go when naming your mirages, and it's probably the biggest mistake you'll ever make, but fuck it. I'm naming our bomb friend <laughs> Social Justice Warrior. <laughs> it is the best social justice warrior ever. It, oh, man. Um, yeah, you know, I'll take it with me. Uh, for my money, what I don't need, what I, what I can give up, um... Oh my god, I gotta think about this even more. You know what? Fuck it. I'm 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 gonna leave you with Seraphine. You know, I don't need you, social justice warrior. To be fair, I didn't think I was gonna get a bomb. I didn't think I was gonna have to name it. I didn't think I was gonna have to do multiple steps to this whole situation. But it turns out guess what? You get two eye drops and you get to make a social commentary on the situation at hand with, with social justice warriors. You might wonder, Gildum, do you have anything against, like, you know, uh, anything of that nature? And it's like, no, but, um, mistakes will be had. Things will be had. I don't expect anyone to watch this. I mean, really, I'm so unknown that... If if I ever got a social justice warrior in on this uh, on this part, like making some sort of commentary on anything, I would be shocked. But at the same time, you never know. Oh my money. god, we got we got like some nut eaters or something. I don't know. Can that be okay. taken sexual? Probably. Anything can be taken sexual. And I'm I wasn't lying. So it's, it's a nut eater. That's its name. Okay. It's not. It's not. It's not shaming. Okay, that's its name. I didn't do it. The game did it. Uh, use the magical enhancement. Okay, that's how you do the thing. Success. Whatever. I, no one cares. Okay, I got Cyrus. Which, if anyone asks, because I I talked about this before, but Cyrus is a scientific name when it comes to gray squirrels. Because if you live in the Northwest, which I do, yeah. the gr oh, the Eastern wait. Gray Squirrel, one of its scientific parts of the name, it's it's, it's Cyrus. Uh, there's more to it. Scientific naming is kind of weird, but I digress. Eastern Gray Squirrels, everybody. Eastern. Gr oh my God, though. Cool. 
The cult magazine said a thing. It said a, a very specific thing. Uh, you know how you figure out the thing? These, they're stones. They, they gradually increase in, in their awesomeness whenever you do it right. And believe me, you can fuck this up and it's, that's a catchwar! I coulda caught one. I could, I coulda caught one. I coulda caught one. Great, if I didn't catch that bomb, guess what, I coulda had a cactuar. You know what a cactuar coulda been? Amazing. It's got the thousand needles and that's, that's a thousand damage, just isn't an easy and it breaks the game very early on. But yeah, it flicks slow, you get it. You know what I don't get? A cactuar. I did collect the alternate form of it. Can't think of the name. Doesn't matter. No one cares. The point is, I did capture the alternate form. You can get it in the, uh, in the pyroglyph forest. It's a rare mirage, and it, you probably won't really run into it, but at the same time, it's something that you can kind of just randomly find, and you'll be like, oh, that, that's interesting. And if you get it, you Here pretty much go. break the game. Chokebos? Chokebos. Chokebos. Hey, buddy, there's a chokebo. <clears throat> so, I gotta be honest. I think I'm gonna annihilate this fight, and that's all good and dandy, but I think I'm gonna end the part here. I mean, I'm a, I'm a beat the battle, obviously, but I, I'm, I gotta do the close excitement. So, everybody, you guys, you can talk about whatever you want. I don't really give a shit. I mean, you can talk about your social Victory. commentary. Talk about how stupid Gildam is. How much of a doof he is. How much, like, he fucks around and doesn't do anything. I don't give a shit. Use my parts in, like, any sort of anime segment to be like, this is how you don't. Let's play. In fact, make, make, make a... Make a collab of all that shit. I don't give a shit. Because, you know, Gildam, he does his things, he, he tries, but clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not professional in the slightest. Man, if I was professional, could you imagine the the unstoppable force that would happen? Anyways, I digress. Point is, uh, I'm going to end it off here. Next time, we're going to really tackle on this desert, and it's going to be amazing. And I won't flub up nearly as much as you think I would. Alright, see ya then.